Hello guys, welcome back to Didsbury Art Studio. I'm Sally, an art teacher who runs this small business at the weekends. And yeah, I'm doing a video today on, it's kind of like using strips of fabrics and quilling. I know that quilling is more to do with paper and strips of paper, but this is kind of fabric manipulation using some hems from an old dress that I got from a charity shop and I'm putting a new spin on it so I'm going to do kind of like um, a translation of one of the chocolate paintings I've done. So let's get into it. So this is the chocolate that we're going to do today. I really like the swirly sort of spirally effects that I've done there with the watercolours. This is the fabric we're going to use. This was a dress that I got from a charity shop in Didsbury and I really love the fabric. It's really appropriate for the chocolate project that we're doing for textile techniques. Um, so I have cut off the hems of the dress. So I've got some really long pieces. I've got some slightly shorter ones. Um, that have come off the dress and then I have done a zigzag stitch on either end where I've cut everything off. So I've just folded over the seam, given them an iron and as I said some of them have come from the bottom of the dress. They've already got um, an overlocking stitch on there. So those are all the bits that I've got. And then this piece of fabric has also come from the dress. This was a lining. So I really want to use this one because I think that would be nice for the background. Um, and this is 35 centimetres by 35 centimetres. Here's some fabric um, that I'm putting underneath to just thicken it up because I want to put the whole thing into this embroidery hoop. And that's going to carry some weight because I need it to. So the embroidery hoop is 24 centimetres in width if you are going to do the similar size. So this one here, as I said, this is the chocolate that I'm going to do and this is the base and then I'm going to use these fabrics that I've got here to kind of quill, to sort of do a sort of swirly pattern to replicate what I've got going on over here. Um, so I thought this this fabric here, I know it's not this kind of creamy colour, um, slightly darker beige, but I thought it complemented the um, chocolate satin really well. So that's why I've got that as a background colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to play around with positioning these onto the fabric just to see how they look. So this is the area that I'm working with just inside the hoop and then I'm just going to place them down like so. They do actually stand up by themselves but we're going to hand stitch them down. I'm literally just seeing what they look like. Now if you imagine kind of like a continuous line when you're drawing. It's a bit like that with this fabric. So rather than cutting this big long piece up, you could kind of go back on yourself. Like so. And I'm just trying to see how much I've got, whether it's going to fit. And then that kind of idea. So, next, needle and some brown thread, and we're going to hand stitch this down. So I've rearranged it. Um, this is how I want it to go. I've put a couple of pins down just to secure the first bit that I want to sew down. So I'm carefully just going to keep the shape of that one and just push it away. And then I'm going to take those two and take those away. And then this is the one I'm going to start hand stitching. So what I've got here is a double thread um, threaded into my needle, not the opposite end of my needle. And I'm going to start from the back 
do these little tiny stitches which are just going to hold the swirl shape together. So just nipping through the fabric and then down underneath the fabric. And because the fabric's quite thick and structured, it will stand up by itself, but it does need a little stabiliser to hold it down initially. So I'm going through both bits of fabric and then taking it down discreetly the other side and back through. So you can see it is holding up. stitch that all down just tiny little stitches through the fabric over the other side down bottom back up again um pretty 3d it's pretty stable and i really like the effect um so let's have a look at it on the mannequin so i really really like this it's just so unusual isn't it i think it's just quite luxurious with the fabrics as well the sort of softness of the um, satin fabric but yeah really like the 3d kind of effect coming off it and this could be used on a dress or a top or some detail around buttons on a sleeve cuffs a skirt and you could also add some other colors into it um, like I've got this little satin ribbon that's come off one of those dresses that could be poked sort of in between. So that's another sample done. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, give it a go yourself. So we've actually got quite a few samples coming on on the mannequin right now. Um, how many have we done four? Yeah, four. So I've just pinned them on just to see what they're starting to look like really happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I know it was a quick short one but hopefully um, you've learned something new or maybe it will encourage you to have a go at trying these different things out that um, I keep presenting to you. Um, so if you haven't subscribed before and if you like these videos and you want to see more of them then please subscribe. That would be absolutely wonderful um, to have you following and if you could hit the notification button that will tell you when um, I'm uploading my video. Give me a uh, thumbs up and also it would be great to get some comments um, from you just I guess just finding out what you're thinking about the videos um, and also yeah if you've tried this technique before in a sort of similar way um, that would be super to hear from you. All right then, um, don't forget I upload every, every twice a week and um, every Tuesday and looking like a Saturday morning. Um, so I will see you next week. All right then, take care. See you, see you soon. Bye.